Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tonight, the family of Annie Walton, the woman who was fatally shot in a drive-by shooting last week, is speaking out about her life. They sat down with our Allie Martin to share who she was. Pastor Clarence Parks and Barbara Wise say they were both initially angry when they first learned their aunt, 66-year-old Annie Walton, was the victim of a drive-by shooting. It was senseless for her to die the way she died. Walton was sitting at a table in her residence on County Road 45 when shots rang out Friday afternoon. Seven others were in the house with her, including a son confined to a wheelchair whom she cared for. Two of her grandchildren were also in the house when the shots rang out. Family members say they want people to know about Miss Annie. She was not a rowdy person. She didn't dip into anyone's business. She was a grandmother. She was a mother. She was an aunt. And she enjoyed cooking. She liked cooking. And she enjoyed her grandkids. She really, really did. She was just, you know, a homebody. She loved church. Mm -hmm. She loved going to church. And when my cousin, my, um, the son that she was caring for in the home, when he was able to go with her, he went with her. And they both, you know, they loved church until it got to where he wasn't able to go. And then she was like, oxygen dependent and she couldn't go. Annie was so much of a homebody that family members couldn't find a photograph of her. Now they're planning her funeral and Pastor Parks will deliver his aunt's eulogy. He also has a message for the 17 year old suspect who is the subject of a manhunt by local and state authorities along with the U.S. Marshal Service. Turn yourself in uh, if you don't want to turn yourself in to the policeman, call my number, 662-842-5119. We will go, with the go down to the police station with you to help you turn yourself in. In Tupelo, Ali Martin, WCBI News. Funeral services for Annie Walton are set for next Tuesday at 1 o'clock at Jerusalem Nettleton Missionary Baptist Church.